Hey guys, welcome back to American Adventure. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing some additional things to American Adventure, and we're going to be working on the next themed area for Harbors of America. But first things first is going to be this um, tree plant nursery that's going to be built in the back of American Adventure. This is located behind uh, Bountiful Farms, and it's off to the left-hand side of the... Ford's Wheels of Progress. I felt this was going to be fitting for a theme park because honestly, I think every theme park, to my knowledge, maybe a Disney, Disney-esque type of thing, was to build a nursery for trees to be replaced if they die, or some flowers, planters, all that good stuff that needs to be done. So I just kind of quickly built a very simple um, nursery. It doesn't necessarily need to be that super grand, but I felt like it was appropriate. So I decided to build some type of giant crates that hold the trees in place. So they're just made out of crates all interlocked together. And I blueprinted that guy and then just plopped down a whole bunch as I just went. I made four rows of four different types of trees, so this felt like this made sense in the aspect of things. I honestly could have maybe deleted some of them like they were already being used or being shipped in, but it doesn't really matter. There are trees. It looks good. I like that they're in like these little um, transport boxes because that's how you transport big trees. Um, I have a couple nurseries near me, and I, I use some of those as my references to see what I could do. But uh, nurseries are really not that complicated. You have a barn of some sort where you store. Um, Fertilizer, probably, some tools, some other equipment, maybe seeds. And then I added a water tower to add some water to it, and then add this pipe, and then I used the cable pieces as hoses. And I think this actually was a cool way to do hoses. So I, I had a fun time doing that. That was actually fun. So it kind of made sense that they're kind of laying around. So the gardener comes around, waters the trees, makes sure that they're all okay, and then they're doing whatever they need to do for to keep American Adventure nice and fully vegetated because at this point trees do die so you have to think like okay so you have to replace the tree that dies it's either in one of the more foresty areas either near the airport like uh, near a victory field or maybe in the uh, frontier great frontier area you don't know what trees are dead or maybe especially in the river rapids if a tree dies you have now a tree replacement now here especially at the uh, uh, greenery greenery yeah, yeah it's a greenery nursery same thing um while I was working on this, I decided to add a additional building. Because I was going to just stick with one building. I'm glad I added this little greenhouse. And to kind of just put in the shrubs and the flowers. And this actually was a fun way to do it. And then I used the um, the glass awnings as shelving shelves to hold like some of the uh, window boxes. Of, yeah, the window boxes that have the flowers in it. That just worked out really well. It just kind of gave this more life. And we were like, okay, so this is actually in a working nursery they get to make sure that american adventure is fully working with all its be beautiful scenery and vegetation so this was a fun little build it didn't really take that long i think it took a good 30 minutes to kind of just get going but on to the next phase of this video is going to be the uh actual addition to harbors of america so harbors of america got an addition to its, I think it's its bottom part. This is going to be the port of LA. This is going to be next to the um, the kiddie pool. And I felt like copying, or no, actually I wanted to build a water coaster to add some more life in it. I didn't want to add another slide just yet. I think I want to add another slide somewhere later. And I think the port of LA area is going to expand a little bit across the river into the island part, maybe just to add some more, well, more LA maybe. So I just needed to figure out my rock colors. So I did a tannish looking rock, kind of like sandy. Because here in California we have very sandy beaches and also just very not as dark stone as you would think. And then I did this reddish stone for like the water break ballast on the edge. And I really like that because I think having a red stone kind of cuts up with the stone colors I've been using lately was brown, grays, and tans, and I think the redstone actually pops a little bit, so I really, really like doing that. And I'm trying to also figure out how to do this transition between 
LA back to New Orleans and so I went from a concrete staircase into wooden staircase and I think that worked out really well. So the water coaster is just going to sit on the back here. I honestly haven't built a lot of water coasters in my playthroughs at all so this is kind of a new experience for me just kind of getting the use to the idea of making some type of water coaster and maybe pulled inspirations from real ones because I know that they're either very short yeah, they're very short. I think most water coasters are very short. It's not really too much to kind of pull from. I haven't been on a water coaster, but YouTube helps with that, so I can just kind of get the idea. So it's just a very simple one helix into the next helix, and then a bunny hop into the splashdown, and then the right ends. So it's a very simple layout, nothing really too special, but I think it fills in the area quite nicely, especially since I'm up against the map now. And I have this weird long gated section. Water coaster worked out pretty well. So I, I had fun with that. That was good. Um, the theme for or the building or the structure for the station is going to be a... Apparently I did some research on the Port of LA. So Port of LA is one of our... The, one of the biggest ports... One of the biggest ports in America that has just a lot of container ships coming in. Containers going in and merchandise being put through. And I found out that they have one historical building on site called Warehouse 1. And so apparently Warehouse 1 was built in 1917. This is like the beginning of the port before it got really gigantic as it is now. So I felt that was very fitting to make that the station for the water coaster. And I did find some um, pictures of the building now as it sits because it's still standing. And on the side of the building it says... Um, Port of LA, uh, America's Port. And I felt that it was appropriate to put that as my sign. Or basically make that the sign of the um, ride. Well, no, more like just decoration. So, again, I'm trying to make this area interesting. Even though harbors or Port of LA and in general or warehouses are very boring type of things to build. And to make them look interesting. So I spent a good time trying to just put little greeblies on it just to make it look more complex than it should be because honestly this is just a rectangle. Make a rectangle. It's about I think five units high and then I did some shapes, cube shapes to add some definitions on the edges to kind of break up the, 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 the sameness of the wall. That's what I don't like about certain structures when they're gigantic. They all it all becomes the same thing and so I try to cut it up with lines and squares and other interesting points so Greeblies really work in its favor especially a very plain warehouse building I did like doing the little columns here with the shapes that was kind of fun to do that was actually looks really nice I like that it breaks up the brick and I'm glad I used the brick texture instead of making my own brick because honestly I didn't have to I really didn't want to do that because that would just be more time consuming in my end. But this is just basically the gist of a warehouse. Um, also in the area I'm going to be planning on building some containers that will come later as I continue to work on the structure of this building. But yeah, this is doesn't look very interesting yet until I get to that point. This is a cool little technique that I normally don't do this, but I was feeling... Uh, kind of weirded, not weirded out, more like I, I couldn't get the grasp of things so I decided to put down some squares and color them into container colors and kind of just map out where my containers would lie. Kind of help me visualize it better. Um, I know that Robo does this when he builds his structures. I think uh, Mr. Unit does it as well. And I think it's a good way to kind of visualize what you're trying to do next without just looking at a blank piece of map. You'd be like, well, what am I going to do here? Nothing. So on to making the sign for the Port of LA. Now this went through a couple different iterations because I didn't know how big I wanted it and I was going to try to do some sh Freedom 2K shenanigans. I first tried it with just doing shapes and make the ALA part and I just felt like it just doesn't look right. The lining's all wonky and I just wasn't, it just wasn't having it. It just doesn't didn't look good and just felt very messy even though I'm pretty good at doing the shape stuff 
but in, it just didn't translate well from my head to paper, basically. So I just opt in just doing the regular text signs, but I did flip a V upside down to get that A thing, and then I'm going to just say the Port of Los Angeles is the full name. This is kind of hard to put in here because it had to stick a little bit over those two columns, but I think it worked out well to kind of blend it in. And then the big, the port of L, yeah, the port of Los Angeles. There you go. And then I did this little green wave. So the symbol for Port of LA has this little green wave in it. If you go Google it, you can see it's pretty accurate. I was actually pretty surprised and pleased how accurate I got this to be close. I honestly could have cheated and just got a, a picture and then put down a a picture frame and be done and called it a day but now nah, I rather take the hard way and just build it myself and it actually in the long run it, it looks better it looks like it's integrated into that wall it looks like it's been painted and there you go it says welcome to America's port and there you go the, the port of LA sign I think it looks pretty nice it's okay it's pretty good I like it it just brings in more realism to this area and it's a theme you normally don't see often in this type of well, in any theme park, you don't really see a theme that's this realistic. And that's kind of the point of the American Adventure series, is to try to use some pretty... I want to say, not yeah, not necessarily serious themes, but pretty realistic themes to kind of use it as a way to storytelling. And this is kind of a way to do it. And I, I kind of like this is completely different from the New Orleans area. I like that there's a dramatic change from you go from... Uh, Louisiana to sunny California and then the next transition is going to be Alaska so it's even more of a crazy transition so I kind of like the idea of making it two, di two different environments and you can tell from here like the bridge you can see that there that's the transition point right there is that brick bridge is your transition between brick brick floor to like this more asphalt type of floor so here are some containers. I built some containers actually in my container island scenario. I made them very plain on purpose for that because it's scenario based. But in this aspect, I decided to add the actual grooves in the corrugated metal. And so I did that with pillars. And then the doors of the containers are just regular doors for the door um, option. And I just blueprinted a whole bunch of those. And I made sure that they were stackable because I did use. Uh, borders on the tops and the bottoms let's just see if I can um, well make them stackable and I do you get to see the stacking part actually like in a couple more seconds as I continue to disdain colors and make it look more interesting without really adding more blocks and things um, also on top of this warehouse was a water tower and that was easy to move up with freedom 2k but there's another way you can do it you can do it with uh, uh, moving terrain up because I know that the water towers do not change from if you press shift so using terrain as your advantage is the way to do it i did this technique a while ago i think in my um water dark ride a couple episodes ago i might link the episode yeah right here um so on to now this is going to be just custom supporting the coaster this is nothing too special either again this is all just grunt work in in the aspects of just working. So I just did the regular support pack that I had and then just kind of worked together. I did like the uh, idea of making the coaster a greenish color because I, I was deciding between either blue or red and I think green just fit better in this aspect. And I just continued to just to custom support this coaster at this moment and to continue the back wall of the uh, the park because you have to imagine that this actually might go out toward maybe more parking lot or maybe an access road I could leave it open oh, I didn't think about doing that making it open I might do that I might have to make the walls come in again to suggest that it continues onward or something because to cut up that straight edge well, I, sometimes I don't, I don't like seeing is all these straight edges sometimes and I sh could cut up with the diagonal here and then do another straight edge and then do another diagonal. I might do that with the back wall here for the, the park border of the water park, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So it's a lot of things will change. 
The thing is, a lot of things can change, especially in this water part. I can change some of the, the ways I've been doing some stuff. I can change maybe some of the water slides maybe later on. Maybe not some of them, because some of them are actually pretty integrated into the scenery. So again, it's, it depends. But I had a fun time doing the uh, water coaster. This is kind of a, a chore doing all the coastal supports, but at the end it looks wonderful. And then I did some container shenanigans, just starting to put a whole bunch of them down because this is what needs to happen. So I think that adding the containers really help out the the way it, it well, how, how do I describe, describe it? it? The containers help portray where we are. And so we're at a port with a whole bunch of containers and you're just going to go through them basically or go around them. Um, over here I decided it was appropriate to add a little... Um, like drink stand so this is bubble tea I think and I felt it was appropriate to kind of have them inside a, a, a container I think it was kind of a cool idea so I just went to do that real quick and I just did some yeah just a simple container I might want to put a maybe a giant blow up of a bubble tea prop maybe on top of the containers if you guys think that would be cool let me know because I'm not really sure if that would fit the area. I kind of wanted to be a little bit more whimsical in some places, add a sign or something, or maybe, yeah, maybe a sign that says bubble tea that's like crooked or something, or it's like broken. Oh, maybe it's a piece of um, driftwood on um, like little uh, metal wheels and rope. Maybe I can do that. I don't know. That'd be cool. Uh, see, again, this is kind of cool to just kind of rewatch some of what I'm building and ideas start flowing out of my head. Which is kind of funny. So this is kind of neat. <laughs> so just continuing with my container shenanigans. Um, I probably put more down actually. I didn't record most of that because it's just more again grunt work. Um, then I needed to build the sign for the ride. It's a very basic sign. I might have to change it up a little bit. Maybe add some more details like some more wave pieces or maybe a representation of a container because the ride's just called container splashdown it's a boring name if you guys can think of another better name than i can go for it because that's the only name i have so far and it's not the best but i did want a, a water coaster here because it adds more movement to this water park because i know that i'll have slides that don't work i'll have pools that don't work and so it's good to have things kind of moving but yeah, so I'm going to leave you guys here and we're going to go do a live tour of what I've built so far and the discussions of the next planning phase for Harbors of America. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, here we are in an American Adventure. So here is um, the nursery that I built for American Adventure. Well, this also could be, this, this, this um, facility can also support probably Harbors of America, but I could maybe make another one maybe nearby. But this is just a quick overview of the nursery. All the trees are here. Here's the truck. Here's my favorite part is the little greenhouse with the little shrubberies and things. Then plants and the shelf here. And then here's the water pipe that goes to the hoses that waters these trees. And it's just kind of a way to kind of fill this corner out. And I think this actually worked out really well help out with the parks backstage areas. I did not mention in the video that I also worked on some more just warehouse shenanigans back here just to add some more storage for the park in general. I feel like there should be more details here maybe like some more junk laying around or some piles of boxes. I might do that. So let's go over to um let's go Keep forgetting what's back here because honestly I haven't looked at the park in a while and so here's the uh, dog fight coaster that looks so cool that's just awesome so let's just go over to the water park I'm just gonna scale the around the park here just kind of just take a tour around here's a parking lot this needs to be touched on I think soon I need some trees here and maybe some new roads maybe another road here I can extend the parking lot one more time actually. Yeah, I might do that. So I have some parking lots and I can still work on. But here we are at the Harbors America. So just a quick overview of where what we have so far in the park. 
So I built the um, New Orleans area first with the changing room over here. Some backstage stuff happened. And then the first real addition was the kiddie pool and to kind of just see where my park's going to head. That actually helped out in my headings onto what goes, comes next. And then to continue work on the New Orleans, I had to do a station for the splash boat and quickly make a water slide. I think this is really fun to do. This was my first legit water slide with the splash attack mod. And I'm looking forward to continuing this type of thing. Hopefully with more like my, more body slides, maybe a tube slide of some sort. Not sure on the research into that. But I think this looks nice, especially on the diagonal and the pool. And then onto the new area that I added. I'm glad I put this in because this helped out kind of map out where Port of LA is going to sit. So there's a lighthouse and the first thing you see is Welcome to America's Port, the Port of Los Angeles. And this is their symbol for Port of LA. And the first thing you see is a container because honestly this is kind of the area you're going to get is a very urbanized type of thing. Uh, here's the bubble tea uh, stand. I feel like there should be a sign here. I said it earlier. And I think this should have something, so we'll figure something out. Um, and then I like this brick wall retaining wall here. I might want to do that again, maybe over a little bit over here or something, just to kind of add some more urban stuff. I don't do a lot of urban stuff, and LA is very concrete jungle esque, so I'm probably going to do that. But I feel like the LA area should expand actually into here and do some water slides based off of some type of building or structure that's LA-esque. Maybe some art, maybe some art deco, and maybe some harbor stuff. And then San Francisco's on the other side over here, but that's, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but this is just so far Port of LA. Here's the warehouse, warehouse number one. I think I need to put the words warehouse number one maybe here. I can do that right now, technically speaking. I feel like I should do it because I saw some uh, concept art, not concept art, actual pictures. And I should just say warehouse one. Warehouse one. Nope, not two. One. Um, and then kind of put it here. Oh, it's not small enough. I need the other one. This one? No. Is it Acme? Acme. Acme is the best one. Yeah, I feel like that would fit, wouldn't it? Just make it black. Um, and it just says Warehouse 1. Yeah, I think that works for me. I don't know, it just doesn't... No, it works. It, it says it's Warehouse 1. I feel like that's appropriate. And there you go. Uh, here's the water coaster. I had some more containers. Uh, I did discuss earlier, I was talking about that wall idea of pushing it in. If I pushed it in like here and had to drag across this part here, I think that would break up the straight edge here. Because I really don't like having the straight, straight um, park border. But again, I'm also on the edge of the map. Because again, the water park was kind of a last minute addition to the park. I feel like I should put some more containers here. Maybe one here. Yeah, if I want to put the push this in. It's going to rub against these containers, which is fine. And I can cut here. And then maybe, actually, we don't have to fill this entire area of Alaska. So let's suggest that I do this. Like that. Um, don't mind me as I actually do some planning. Because this is actually a good thing to do. Because I normally don't do this while you guys watch. Or in the time lapse. I don't do this. I do this off camera. But I'm thinking about doing, yeah, if I did this, push this back a little bit, make this backstage for the park. Here, let's do some more painting here. I think this works out pretty well here. Yeah, we're going to push that all, yeah, maybe all the way down here is going to be backstage area. I don't have to work so much. I don't have to make such a big area for the Alaskan area. Because I feel like there's really not much you can add in a snow type of place. I am going to try to make some like wooden structures and 
cottages of some sort, and then hopefully some slides and things. That's kind of the objective for the Alaskan area. So like Anchorage. Uh, if I look up Anchorage stuff, maybe that will help me. But I like the idea of having this backstage. That kind of chops up the park a little bit. So yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, the next couple things is the then the San Francisco area. So now I feel like this is more concrete. So here, this should not be here. Um, yeah, San Fran and the Fisherman's Wharf is over here. Alaskans over here. And the rest of LA can sit here. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I paint this and say, oops, port of LA, make it gigantic. So the port of LA should be all here. This is port of LA. All this should be port of LA. And I feel like that is probably the more appropriate thing to do, actually. Yeah, yeah, I think how I, I like how this is shaping up because then we have this this contrast between the dark stone to the light stone, and then we can change from um, sequoia trees and more uh, bayou trees to some jungle trees and some palm trees, stuff like that. So more California environment. So yeah, this is Port of LA. So that means ooh. But I need to make... Oh, no, 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 no. So this has to be sand. So Alaska can sit here. Maybe a little bit this way, too. And then this has to be a Port of LA station. That would make sense to kind of match this one, but more in California style. Yeah, I think this is turning out to be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I Hopefully I can finish this by April, maybe early May, if I get my butt into gear. Yeah, I need to just get and just start cracking down, because... There's some things that needs to be... Yeah, I'm going to expand the Port of LA. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, <laughs> as this continues to grow and manifest into this wonderful water park, um, I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go for it. Hit the notification bell, whatever YouTubers say these days. Um, thank you to my patrons for watching and still continuing to support. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can. The link will be in the description. And yeah, we'll continue the um, onward production of American Adventure. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.